be a part of Busy Town. Oh. We'll keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. Good morning, folks. Morning, Sergeant Murphy. Your usual? Ah, nothing like hot chocolate and a donut to kick off the day. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Busy Town Bakery. Have you seen Sergeant Murphy? I've been looking all over for him. Yes, Hilda, hold on. For you, Sergeant Murphy. Murphy here? Sergeant Murphy, you have to come over here as fast as you can. It's... Uh, there's a... What seems to be the problem? Strange noises in my attic. Scary jingling noises. Like, um, like a... Like what, Hilda? A ghost. A ghost? A ghost. I think there's one in my attic. Please hurry, Sergeant Murphy. Just stay calm, Hilda. I'm on my way. A ghost? That Hilda sure has an imagination. Now, let's bake some bread. Can I help, Daddy? Can I, Daddy? Okay, Sophie. Oh, goody! But please, put your apron on first. Here, Sophie. Let me show you. Now, first we knead the dough. We squish and squash it like this. Like this? Then we toss it a bit. What do you think is next, Sophie? Bake it. Yes, indeed. Charlie, ready for baking? All set, Humperdink. Oh! Will it take long, Daddy? Not long, Sophie. Not long. <laughs> Sergeant Murphy, hurry, hurry! Be careful, Sergeant Murphy. Don't worry, Hilda. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Ah, just one of your antique rocking horses. My, you've certainly been collecting a lot of interesting things. <gasps> now then, what could be causing... <gasps> that's it, that's it, that's the ghost. Here's our ghost, Hilda. A dress on a mannequin. My bell gown. Oh, Sergeant Murphy, you're wonderful. You found my bell gown. <clears throat> I've been looking all over the house for it. See, Hilda, there's really no such thing as ghosts. You shouldn't let your imagination run away with you like that. You're so right, Sergeant Murphy. Thanks a million trillion. Window. And case closed. <laughs> Don't they smell good? Makes you want to just gobble them up. Can I, Daddy? Can I? Please, please. No, first we have to let them cool. Mama. What did you say, Charlie? What? Mama. Uh, that! <gasps> Who said Mama? I think the bread said it, Daddy. Oh, Sophie, such an imagination. Mama. What? See? See? It is the bread. The bread? Bread doesn't talk. <laughs> Unless it's haunted. Haunted? Mama. Whoa! Mama. What, what do we do? do? We better call Sergeant Murphy. Murphy here. I know it's hard to believe. But there's a loaf of bread here that's talking. A talking bread, huh? Are you sure? It spoke clear as a bell. Does it move, too? by itself. Only if you poke it. Is it armed? 
No, no arms. We'll keep an eye on the suspect. Uh, Bread, I'll be right over. But whatever you do, don't tell anybody. We're here live at Humperdinck's Bakery, where reports of haunted bread have drawn huge crowds. Here's Hilda Hippo with bells on. Let's ask her what she thinks. I don't believe in ghosts. I think everyone's getting carried away. Look, here comes Sergeant Murphy. Okay, folks, just stay calm. I'll get to the bottom of this. Now, where is this talking bread? It's over there. Okay, bread. Looks pretty harmless to me, Humperdinck. Mama. What? Who said that? Mama, mama. Take cover! But I don't believe in ghosts, do I? Hey, Mr. Humperdinck, everyone's saying there are ghosts in here. Careful, boys, that loaf of bread is haunted. I've never eaten haunted bread, but I'm not afraid to try something new. Oh, you brave, brave worm. Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious. I've digested some interesting information, Sergeant Murphy. If you could please help me out of here, I think we can solve this mystery. Careful, Sergeant Murphy. Don't break Lolly. <laughs> Mama. Mama. My baby! See, I told you, just people's imagination. <laughs> That's right, Hilda, just like I told you. <laughs> imagination. <laughs> oh, boy, Luli, you weren't kidding about being full, and not just with information. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Special for our hero. Oh, boy, these look good. Oh, uh, Luli. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, no, I don't think so. You're not supposed to eat with your foot on the table. Imagine that. What are you doing, Huckle? I'm making a delicious bread and jelly sandwich. Do you know where bread comes from? The harvesting machine does the farmer's work that separates the grains from the stalks and dirt. Then the grains are poured till the bags are filled and taken to a place that's called the mill. At the mill, the grains are hot. They're dropped into a grinder with an open top. Then crushed and crushed with lots of power and sewn into bags as sifted in flour. Wait, Mr. Driver, would you please take me along with the flour to the bakery? Water, salt, and yeast are mixed with flour and left to rise till the appointed hour. From the pan, it's cut and shaped, then popped into the oven so it can bake. And when it's done, that may be where bread comes from, but this is where it's going. And if we all look closely, we'll be able to see Couscous, the best detective in North Africa. Hmm, Couscous isn't so easy to find. He's a master of disguise, you see. Yellow Couscous! Oh dear, he could be anyone in this crowd. Hmm, could this be Couscous? If you like, it flies. Woo! Nope. Where is that slippery sleuth? Hiya, Couscous! Shh. Oh, sorry. You're working. I have found the den of Pepe Le Gangster. He and his band of dirty rats have robbed <coughs> almost all of North Africa. Pepe, the most devious, shrewd, cunning, crafty, and sinister thief around. Oh! Now where did he go? I must find a way into the den of Pepe the Gangster. <laughs> Silence! Listen, you dirty rats! Oh, uh, 
Why do we have to be dirty, boss? Yes, we don't like being dirty. Why won't you let us wash? Because then you won't be dirty rats. <gasps> there will be no more talk of washing. Instead, we shall speak of robbing the noodle factory. Oh, I'm dying for a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> I must find a plan. I've got it. For the plan to work, I need the assistance of my assistants. What is it, boss? I smell a rat. Uh, that's, that's us, us boss. boss. You told us not to wash. Yes, we're supposed to be dirty. Will you be quiet? But you said you smelled. It is only an expression. It means I sense danger. <laughs> then you do smell us, boss. We're robbers. We're very dangerous. What I mean is, I think we are being followed. <laughs> you smell rats? Then buy my essence of jasmine and be rid of that smell forever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we are wasting time. Come to the noodle factory. Couscous will catch you. Couscous? Mmm, <laughs> it looks good. My favorite pasta, spaghetti. Mm. Yummy, mm. yummy. Mm. It is <laughs> Who is knocking at my door? It is I, the pretty dancing girl, Fatima. Pretty dancing girl? My troop of musicians and I are here to entertain you. Prepare for a celebration! One moment, pretty dancing girl. Voila! Hurry, hurry! Come in, come in, please. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> more, more, do not stop. Maybe she's hungry for spaghetti, boss. Yes, I know I am. Silence! Why do you stop? We want more. Oh, I shall give you more. But first, I must blindfold you. Why? I have a big surprise for you all. Bring on the surprise, and then we eat. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love the surprise! Me too. Me too. Oh, boy. Can we look now? Of course. Please. What the? Who, who do you think you're dealing with? Surprise! Cools, cools. You got me this time, but soon. Soon you will be in jail, Pepe. You and your dirty rats are all washed up. Congratulations, Couscous. You are a clever fellow. <coughs> yes, and your assistants too, Couscous. Where are you? You who? He comes and he goes. To where? Who knows? That is why Couscous is the best detective in all of North Africa. Play 
it's safe. Don't forget to wash behind your ears, Huckle. Shiver me timbers! We're off to sail the seven seas! Whenever you play on the water, always wear a life jacket. You'll be safe and you'll be smarter. How old you are just doesn't count. Or if the water's deep, you've got to wear a life jacket. This is the rule to keep on. Safe, safe on the water. Be sure let's put on carefully. It should be done up tight. You may think you don't need it, but then again you might. Uh -huh. Yeah, you might. And keep an eye on the weather. I'm sure I'm in a boat. And always wear your life jacket to keep yourself afloat. Uh -huh. Yeah, play it safe on the water. Play it safe. The next time you have a bath, maybe you should wear a life jacket. <laughs> Hope you're excited, Huckle. It's your first fishing trip. I've been planning it all week, and it's going to be perfect. You bet, Dad. Those fish are as good as fried. Oh, why do we have to start so early? You know what they say, Loli. The early bird catches the worm. <laughs> I never say that. I'll never forget the first time your grandpa took me fishing, son. It was spring. No, 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 wait, it, it was summer. We were in this very motorboat. <laughs> No, 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 I'm wrong. It was the last day of fall. <laughs> Oops. Wow, Dad. I didn't know you could get so much exercise in a motorboat. Uh, uh, now that I think of it, we never could get this boat started. Mind if Huckle and I try, Captain? Be my guest, Loli. Ready, Huckle? Here, hold my foot. Don't strain yourselves. Hey, you did it! Good work, boys! Now we're cooking! Watch out, fish! Here we come! Now, how was it that you steer this thing? You push to the left, and it goes left. No, push to the left, and it goes right. <laughs> no, that's not it either. I think I'm seasick. And we haven't even left the dock yet. Ah, this is more like it. Oh, oh. The perfect fishing spot. Throw out the anchor, Loli. Aye, aye, Captain. Ooh. Anchor's on swirl! Oh, no! Loli! Worm overboard! Board, Huckle. Lowly, are you all right? There's a fish down there as big as a house. Sure, Lowly. No, it was this big. Oh, come on, boys. I'll show you how to catch a real fish. Now, watch me closely, Huckle. Technique is everything. Look, Dad, it worked. You hooked something. Gee. He's putting up a fight. Yep, I think I've got a big one. Wow, you caught a bite. Too bad it wasn't a fish. Okay, Huckle, now your old dad's going to show you how to bait a hook. My secret is using Swiss cheese for bait. Bait? I thought it was lunch. Huh? That's the secret. Go 
good casting, Little Fish. Why'd you call me Little Fish, Dad? Well, that's what your grandpa called me when we went fishing. everything but fish. This certainly isn't the perfect trip I'd planned. Might as well go home. I'm ready to get out of here! Oh, 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 oh. Huckle, at least you caught one fish. Wow! I guess you could call that fishing by the seat of your pants. <laughs> Look, here they come. I wonder what they caught. Hi, Mom! Hi, Sally! Hey, Huckle! What's all that stuff in the boat? The catch of the day. We have enough for a garage sale. Whoa! Where'd Dad go? Get me out of here! Quick! Whoa, something's got me! <laughs> oh, will you look at that? Guess you boys weren't telling fish stories after all. Kinda makes up for all the fish you didn't catch, huh? Look, Mom! I caught one, too! I'm so proud of my two fishermen. Make that three. I've been keeping this one under my hat. Okay. Everybody smile. Say cheese. Cheese! cheese. Boy, Dad, when I grow up, I sure hope I can be as good a fisherman as you are. I hope you don't have to use your tail as bait. But remember, it's our family secret. Show. 